Yeah, I think I have to do this weird thing um, with my microphone. Again, testing it out. Uh, so give me one second to make sure this is working. Okay, I think that works. Yeah, there's a lot of buzzing. I don't know why. Okay, yeah, I think that works. Let me... Sorry, I, I, some of you guys are watching this in the future and gonna be like, dude, come on, don't you have your shit ready like beforehand? No, I don't. Not always. Okay, now I just figured out the problem. For some reason, my Yeti microphone was set to FM instead of my actual uh, set preset. So I don't know why it was it was set to that for some reason. We're gonna have to just deal with it for now. I'll go ahead and test all of this out at the end, whenever I am done live streaming. I really need to kind of like sit down and get my microphone to the preset that I had. Like I had to reset it for some reason and I just was not able to, to fix it. So um, I will definitely have it fixed by next stream. Just kind of like a forewarning, if we're going to discuss the current happenings in a certain part of the world, um, and no, I am not talking about Ukraine, We're gonna, if you guys are going to be deciding to talk about the other thing, I will not be making any sort of comments on it. This is a conflict that is way too complicated for me to get involved in, and if you guys are wondering my opinion, essentially, I don't think the Israelis should be killing young people and i don't think that the palestinian not the palestinians i'm gonna say hamas because it's not the palestinians gotta make that clear see see that's how complicated it gets that's, that's how complicated it gets i don't think the israelis should be bombing indiscriminately and i don't think the hamas uh group should be putting missile systems on top of apartment buildings i, I think it is a very dual sided conflict i do i think that it is very complicated to talk about i will not be making that much of a discussion on it um today 
uh, mainly because it's the Palestinian-Israeli conflict has always been a conflict that I have just steered away from in any sort of public setting like this. And I just, I, I just, I'm not as in tune because I've been studying it for a very long time. Like whenever I first started getting into geopolitics. But it, it even since then, like it, it has always been a very complicated conflict. And if you're going to look at this as like, you know, I'm on one side or the other, um, I think... I think that it is very. I think I think I think there's more to this story, essentially. Um, essentially, we're gonna play as Argentina today. Uh, Argentina, uh, one of the largest economies in South America right now. We are in the year 2023. We have a election in 210 days, so we will be dealing with an election. I'm going to be streaming for about two and a half to three hours today, tonight. A little bit of a late night stream. Um, I'll also be trying to edit the energy video. I actually have the energy video on its way. Um, so it's doing pretty good. It's doing pretty good. And I'm really excited to preview it for you guys. I'm like half tempted to induce a recession as Argentina, mainly because of just the the amount of inflation we have we are dealing with a 56.99 percentile uh inflation rate right now and it is just wrecking our economy we have a very expensive goods i'm pretty sure i can go in and start to reduce some prices if i could afford so um if i wanted to go over here could i reduce food uh, cereals prices by uh Five percent. We could possibly do a ten percent uh, markdown. Maybe take back the Falkland Islands. Don't you mean the Islas Malvinas? Is what you were talking about? If you're not, if you're not, you're, you have to say it correctly, sir. You have to say it correctly, sir. We don't say the Falkland Islands. We say Islas Malvinas. Ironically, I am actually pursuing closer relations with the United Kingdom as of right now. Um, we do have a uh, trade contract with them. Um, we have the Edinburgh con Agreement, which consists of us selling them uh, cement, fuel, and plastics. I think since we do have kind of like a neutral relationship with the... Uh, PRC, we will go ahead and ask for a meeting with them. That way we can try to see what we can import. Seven percent growth. Unemployment is at seven percent. Unemployment is actually on its the way up. The bill has been. Um, what do you guys? What do you? What, how? How has you guys' day been? Um, today I actually got to see two very interesting things. I got to see. Um, I got to see a solar eclipse. I actually was prepared for this one. And no. um, I got to see the solar Very. eclipse and I had solar glasses, obviously. So whenever the solar eclipse came by, um, I was able to look at it, observe it. Um, my eyes kind of do hurt a little bit. Um, <laughs> uh, so it's kind of interesting. Um, and at the same time, whenever I was on my way back, um, or whenever I, I went out uh, with my girlfriend to go get some food, and whenever we came back, I heard this plane coming over me, 
and I just could hear like it was it was such a loud roar and I've never heard I've loved planes for my entire life and I've never heard a plane this loud before because I was at home and I could hear it I could hear some plane just flying over me and I posted a picture on my community tab so if you guys are interested in looking at it um, I have the picture of it and it's it's a freaking b-52 strato fortress flying over my house and i and the weird thing is and the thing that the thing that threw me off was that i don't live near a air force base i live near a air force base but it is not in any way a strategic bomber base the closest strategic bomber base that i live to is dias in abilene and uh barksdale in Louisiana and I and I looked up you know some of the air wings that do consist of B-52 strata fortresses and um, the closest one is in Louisiana so it was so weird and it's not like it was like way above me because if it was way above me like the the, the, the altitude that it was flying at was way too low in order to um, it was way too low to uh, really be it was, it was going coming in for a landing somewhere at some of the major airports maybe it was the reserve base that i live next to or maybe it was one of the international airports it was flying extremely low for what type of plane it was so it was just the weirdest thing and it was so cool to me because i've never ever ever i've never seen a b-52 in my life before i've never seen a strategic bomber before so seeing that was one of the most exciting things I have ever seen because I love military aircraft and it was just so exciting to see a, a, uh, um, wow, geez, China uses a lot of, uh, of oil. Um, but it was just so exciting to see a, a B-52 for the very first time in my life. Um, rare earth oxides, I'm going to import import 5,000 of these. Boo! There be another competition in the next PR part. What is that? Like how World Trade Center is in the chat, except you can tell that he's not from the United States because he spelled center in in uh, British English rather than American English. Temper your words and remain in your place. You won't gain anything by trying to play in the big leagues. Well. I'm sorry. Boom. What if I get like really good relation to China and then they actually put sanctions on Russia? Win a game with Italy, save it, too many debts. How many debts does uh, Italy have? God, what's going on in Italy? What the Italy doing? Oh, giveaway. Um, yeah, the holidays are coming up. I could actually try to organize one with uh, Eversim for the holidays. Argentine military. We're going to go ahead and call upon. Let's call for 
300,000. We're going to call upon 300,000, and we're going to call upon... Uh... Yeah, I was like, why is the severance pay coming in? Um, we're going to call upon... Thousand commandos. It'll cost them the state about hundred million dollars. One gaming, Isa, Zach, uh, Ricardo, World Trade Center. As much as that is a hilarious, hilarious last name. Um, how are you guys doing? And someone asked the question, so I will get to that question. Um, Hungary has abandoned their Uranus. Do I have a space program? Space research, new scientific launch. I have a space program, huh? Um, I've been playing Millennium Dawn lately after missing out on some patches. Would you take on the mod? I wish GPS had better Melcomic mechanics. I think, um, it has a lot of work to do whenever it comes to how. It represents it. I still think that no game is going to be able to match what Power and Revolution has. They can try, but they're always gonna they're always going to not hit the mark. Where the demonstrators in demonstration. South America or the Caribbean uh, does not like Argentina that you can invade. Does increasing tax have any effect on inflation? Yes, it very much does. Forty-four percent. Um, what are you guys' thoughts on the Mexico series so far? What do you guys What do you guys think about it? We sold this to Chile and how much money we could get. My stream just started. I gotta, I gotta figure out this energy situation before I go to war. Which we do have a solution coming in, and it's gonna be done in about a year.
how many people live in that part. Um, 156,000. So if I wanted to sell it, CO2 emissions. Respect. Offer territory to sell. Um, we're going to sell it to Chile. And we want to sell uh, Tierra de Fuego. We can sell it for $230 billion. Pleasure to finally watch a stream of yours. Are you still working on the Mexico save? I would love to play, but it's unplayable on my CC to do some bugs. Have a nice stream. Yes, I am still working on the Mexico series that is still hot on the presses. And I'm um, probably actually going to make episode five tonight. Um, I have Everything. to stay up for a little bit. I have to go pick someone up. Um, around like one, like one or two. So um, I have to... I have to go um and so i'm just probably going to be working on maybe the mexico series uh episode on mexico episode five um and then as well as the energy tutorial are you guys like how are you guys pretty hyped for the energy tutorial do you guys like think that it is needed do you guys want me to continue making the tutorials um is it something that you guys are just not interested in like what do you guys think about the tutorials The bill has. See if you can buy the. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Um, I didn't even think of that. Purchase a foreign territory. All other countries. United Kingdom. No, they're their own sovereign territory. Falkland Islands. Oh, they're white, so that means... Which is a foreign territory. <laughs> so I can buy a dependency. See what happens whenever I try to buy him for two hundred billion dollars. If it goes through, I'm gonna try to cancel it because I'm gonna be like, wait, 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 wait. Yes, we just unlocked uh, fission plants. Contract projected. Government agreement. The country's parliament has refused your offer. 
many people live in the Falklands? They have 3,000 people. 174 million of GDP. How's your inflation rate better than in reality? Um, about 30, about just 51% is what it's at. for our users. Mr. President, we are currently struggling to meet demand for electricity because our production capacity is insufficient. In order to avoid power outages, we have temporarily reduced the voltage. We provide users by 5%. Most of the day, the appliances will continue to function, but we will still reduce their performance. We should think about increasing our supply of electricity. So let's go ahead and call upon a neighbor to import some electric, export some electricity to us. I remember whenever you could import electricity from, like, as the United States, um, and you could go to, like, China and import electricity from them. Bolivia. No one has a surplus of electricity. Why? Why? Why does a Brazil have, a, have anything? Brazil, please. So long. 24 months. God. Whoa, that is wow. Inflation really has a stranglehold on us. Look at that. The price of the of the nuclear power plant is at a healthy inflation rate. At a healthy inflation rate, you would be spending maybe like um at an at a normal inflation rate you'd be spending around like i think like eight billion dollars or something like that on this wow wow that is that is insane that is insane 30 billion dollars for a fully manned uh nuclear power plant that is insane Wow.
for Argentina, baby. Welcome to our reality. Yeah, that is that is crazy. You can have onshore wind in Chubut. Chubut. Where is that? There's a river in Argentina called the Black River. Interesting. Sixty days to completion for these two months be like right in the middle of an election period we need to we need to build enough to where we can kind of stave off any sort of electrical shortages during my election period province and river okay so i assume that's the black river interesting Perspective analysis coup coupled with the ground model. Chile wants to have a meeting with me. RFID chips. Let's go ahead and patent them. Prospective and them Argentinian on the market. So, did anyone else see the solar eclipse today? If so, did you see it with your own eyes? Like, did you see it with a uh, protective glasses, or did you see? Um, did you just like look at the the YouTube live streams of it? If so, you're you're boring. Tax pay, tax petrol. What's petrol? What's petrol? I don't know what this petrol is. I need you guys to speak English. I need you guys to speak American here. We don't say petrol in the United States. We say we say gas. It applies to any product that is either meant to be used for or which already used as or is being sold as a fuel or fuel additive for motors. It is also applies to some hydrocarbons meant for heating. Note that in real world France, this tax performs a part of the carbon tax. In game, the amount of tax on petroleum and energy products and its revenue are not part uh, in the game, the amount of tax on petroleum and energy products and its revenue are not part of the carbon tax. So it will not have any sort of um, effect on the carbon emissions, possibly. Well, actually, long term, it probably would because less people are going to be driving on the roads. Um, 
or decreases our carbon or gas consumers pay for the electricity deficit. Yeah. Have the producer to carbon and gas consumers pay for the electricity deficit. So yeah, I mean, actually, the increasing the carbon emission tax. We're gonna do three nine. Will that even pass? No. Have you ever played as a Caribbean country in this game? I have not. There's gonna be a lot of protests. They're gonna there's gonna be a backlash by motorists. Motorists are going to hate me after this. riot in Buenos Aires. A funeral with... Good morning. Are you going overboard? We have subdued. Interesting that we actually do have an Argentinian in the in chat. The competition. Fourteenth, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a funny time. Ha! 
Banana Republic Argentina win. Speaking of, do I have a coalition? I do not. Do I need to form a coalition whenever the election comes? some funds by selling the Misones region to uh, to Brazil. I just and I just uh, thought about this, um, guys. I have finally, I finally hit eight thousand subscribers. I have eight thousand and three subscribers as of the recording of this video. Thank you, every single one of you guys that is watching this with me right now. I love and appreciate you guys f just so much. I never would it think that I would be able to stream content, make content, and people would like it. I never thought that that would be a possibility. I never thought that just, I never thought that, that, that people would like the content that I would make. I, I always thought, you know, like whenever... I, whenever I would um, make content originally back, like way back in like 2015, 2016, um, 2017, even 2018, like I, you know, a thousand was like baffling to me. And I stayed around a thousand to two thousand for very, for so long. And it took me until 2021 to hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. And after 5,000, six, seven, 8,000 now. I've, since 2021, since 2021, I've, I've made, I've gone from 5,000. July 4th, 2021 is whenever I hit 5,000. And I'm at 8,000 in October, 2023. In two years, I've made more subscribers than it took me to do on YouTube for seven. So it's, it's, it's baffling to me in, in some ways. And, and I, and I appreciate every single time that I had a, I had a thousand mark. I'm very excited to hit the 10,000 mark because I get to share that moment with you guys. And I'm, trying to figure out what I'm going to be able to do, obviously, and I've uh, repeated this over and over again, I will be doing a $100 giveaway at 10,000 subscribers. So if you guys aren't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to me now. 
And I've thought about it, like, should I give out a hundred dollars to someone or should I give like a hundred dollars to some sort of charity or cause? Like what would be more appropriate for that? dollars a charity yeah and i was thinking about doing that and i didn't want to like say like you know in all these videos oh you know i'm gonna do a hundred dollars giveaway and um no one really seemed like too excited for that so i feel like you know giving out a hundred dollars uh to i feel like giving out a hundred dollars to charity probably would feel a little more appropriate What's my relations with Panama? Can I sign a free trade agreement with them? $100 I can buy all of La Pampa <laughs> province, but I would choose charity. I have an internet up house, 36,000 subscribers in his own niche. Tell him, tell him to send subscribers my way. Tell him to send 2,000 subscribers to me. And in some ways, I'm almost glad that I have not made some sort of, like, viral video. And viral, I'm meaning, like, 100,000 subscriber uh, views. Uh, like, 100,000 views in, like, five days or something like that. Like, I, I, in a way, I'm kind of glad that I haven't had some sort of moment like that yet. Because whenever you make a viral video, essentially people come to your channel just for that type of content. And I feel like it would really complicate everything about my channel if, you know, I would want to keep all of those subscribers that I got. But then, you know, I would have to switch over to that type of content. So I really hope, like, what makes me somewhat viral... And I hope this doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> um, I hope it doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Um, I, I I would like to have something go viral where, you know, it would still be something along the lines of geopolitics. What is your most viewed video? My most viewed video is a Hearts of Iron meme that I made in 2017. Um, this meme, uh, essentially, it's called uh, Soviet Union Playthroughs in a Nutshell, and essentially it's just a video, a flag edit, if you know what flag edits are, it's a flag edit of the opening scene from Man of Steel, the Superman movie from 2013, um, where Jor-El is fighting against Zod, and um, he's fighting against them and everything, it's, you know, it's all the flags, all of it. Money must be on the move. Yeah. Yeah, I need to go and do some really deep cleaning in the... No. I need to do some deep cleaning in the uh, in the industry tab. Let's go. All right. We're going to move that... Move uh, move this uh, sector by sector. Aeronautical construction. Uh, aluminum. Aluminum we're going to exonerate. Armed pickup trucks. Automobile construction. Let's do fifty million dollars to automobiles. Bauxite. We do not have production. Can we make production? We cannot. Bottled water. Exonerates. Building housing and roadway. We're going to leave because we don't want to mess up our uh, our uh, tax situation. Cement. We're going to exonerate. Uh, clothing, we will exonerate. Computer hardware industry. And I'm going to uh, exonerate a certain amount of sectors because we want to limit growth right now until our energy situation is completely under control. Steel. We'll exonerate steel. So, um, all right. Yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll donate. I'll donate some money to charity then. 
for 10,000. Um, yeah, I was kind of thinking about switching it because, again, people weren't really, you know, like, oh my god, $100, and I don't really think people would expect that. Um, I don't think I was expecting that, but it was just like, no one was like, okay, yeah, hell yeah, $100 for someone. And I think it's because it's too broad. It's like, oh, one person is out of 10,000 people is going to get $100. So it kind of does seem a little unfair because then I would be like, yeah, hey, this person got $100 and some guy is going to be like, ugh, I could have been that person. So I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and do charity then. In before it's a Ukrainian charity, like a Ukrainian Red Cross, and then I get everyone pissed off at me and lose like 3,000 subscribers. Who the hell is messy? I like how Gabe took me seriously on who who Messi is. <clears throat> As if I don't know who Messi is. <laughs> I have a I have a boss at work that um he um I have a boss at work that uh he's actually um he was he was so into the World Cup whenever it was coming up like so it was it was it was it was funny because like he I would come in to work and he'd look at me and he'd be like he'd be like don't say anything don't say anything because he hadn't watched the game yet and I was uh it was France versus <clears throat> it was France, it was it was like the semi quarterfinals or something and PG installed FIFA 23 on PS5 so I can beat you <laughs> um um I can't remember who it was. I think it was France and Germany or something. And okay, that's gonna annoy me. Let me look it up. I can't believe your top geopolitical games video has. Tw I know, right? No, you must have. Bruh. Um, I know, right? That was like the most underrated video I have ever made, where I honestly just thought it would get like five thousand views. The fact that it has 25,000 views right now is insane to me. Um, World Cup 2020, 2022. Like that is insane to me that it, it is doing so well. Um, pot one, pot two, who was it? Games, blah, 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 blah. France and Australia. Knockout stage, it was a knockout stage. Um, who was it? I think it was November, no, it was December, I guess. Who was it? Brazil and South Korea, Portugal and Switzerland. Quarterfinals, here it is. It was France, it wasn't France and England, it was Morocco, it was France and Morocco. And I came in, I came in into work and he was just like, he's like, don't tell me, don't tell me. And I'm just like, what, what? <laughs> and I'm like, he's just like, and they were like, don't tell him about the game. And I'm just like, bro, I haven't watched the World Cup, leave me alone. <laughs> but yeah, it was the France and Morocco game and um, um, it, it was just so funny. Argentina and France, Messi, and then 
Mbappe. Morocco is goaded in the last World Cup. My aforementioned pal made a meme poop video that had more than views in his year, month year average three days in. Unfortunately, Blue Brazil having sucks on soccer right now. It's crazy and it's crazy here in Israel. Why? Why? What's going on in Israel? Can you, can you, Roy, Roy, can you explain to me what's going on there? I'm, I'm not, I'm not exactly familiar. I haven't been paying attention. I'm just kidding. Don't, no, let's not start this here. <laughs> let's not start, let's not start anything in the chat, please. Me casually nationalizing the tobacco sector so I can get rid of it. One of my favorite Power and Revolution moments, honestly, was literally not a game moment, but it was like when the 2022 edition came out, there was a bug which basically had the Argentinian wine sector completely, it was, it was completely empty. There was no production whatsoever. And everyone was sitting there and they were flooding the, 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 the Steam forums saying like, like, why would you do this? Why would you do this? Argentina has Argentina has some of the best wine in the world. Why would you do this? Why where's where's the wine production? And <clears throat> and they were like and they were like, okay, yeah. And they made a specific point saying, yeah, this this has been fixed. Honestly, that is one of the funniest moments I've ever seen in the Power and Revolution space because of just how quickly everyone came out and was like you guys need to fix this Argentina has the best wine we have so much wine here My favorite GPOMS moment was PG leaving the WTO in a very good idea moment, then wondering why is its economy tanked. Shut up. Yeah, let's go, SMRs. South American wine is better than European wine. Fight me. <laughs> play as Israel, you would get lots of you. Yeah, let's play as Israel right now. I'm pretty sure I would get a lot of people saying that I'm profiteering from the war. People like when YouTubers play countries with real conflicts. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. I mean, what do I do? What do I do? I play Palestine? What do I I'm not going to war. <laughs> I'm not going to war because I'd probably piss off like half of my Arab audience. <clears throat> and if I play as Palestine, then I'm going to piss off all of my like Western audience. The election. Uh, 
out of the Ling Trio. My two best friends are my producer in Mendoza province. Some of the best vineyards of the world are there. All right, so whenever I go to Argentina, um, you're gonna you're gonna show me some some good uh, um, some more good Argentinian wine. Argentine, Argentinian. I keep saying Argentinian, and it's Argentine. Is it Argentine? Whenever you're just saying the people, is it Argentine or is it Argentinian? I'm so confused right now. Hey, Superpower 3 was a great game. Don't ever insult it. It nothing nothing wrong happened with Superpower 3. Nothing ever happened. Speaking of, there is a brand new game by the developer of Superpower, of the Superpower series by Jean-René Couture. Um, essentially what he is doing is that he is trying to make up for the disastrous release of Superpower last year. And he has announced that there is a brand new game coming out um, in uh, the future. There's no set release date. It's basically in its very baby stages right now um, that he is going to be making a new game, which is essentially going to be the spiritual successor to Superpower 2 slash 3. One objective for this save, there is a presidential candidate who said that Argentina's uh, GDP can reach the German one in 20 years. What is Germany's GDP? Eh, yeah, I can do that in like 20. Maybe. I mean, they, 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 do, they do have some potential. Once I get past this election period, I mean... Want to play Hoi 4 together? Maybe. I've never played Hoi 4 multiplayer. What am I doing? on RP with subscribers win. Alright, so is it normal for Argentina to do some funnies whenever it comes to election fraud? I had rockets in my city. I needed to go to the bomb shelter after A was sleeping. <clears throat> How is it over? What, what's, if you can tell me, what city are you in? Your electoral And have you heard sirens like today? Like, have you heard anything going on? And speaking of the USS uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower Carrier Task Force Battle Group is actually on its way to the Eastern Mediterranean right now. So the United States will not only have one carrier task force carrier battle group in the eastern mediterranean they're going to have two carrier task carrier battle groups in uh the eastern mediterranean so that is that is that is wild i like how uh gaza has its own territorial waters even though they're heavily patrolled by the israelis regime change in Guatemala. Ooh, yeah, let's go. Um, let's 
call for a free trade agreement with Guatemala. Let's go ahead and get that show on the road. We're going to go and go ahead and call for a global economic treaty. Guatemala is a pretty strong economy compared to us. $92 billion. I, I didn't know. I, I don't know why I haven't noticed that Guatemala is actually pretty large for an economy. For some reason, I thought they had like a $50 billion uh, GDP. Overcrowded prisons. Wow. Yeah, we sh once we get everything going, um, we are going to... So when is the Argentinian space program headed by that guy with the funny mustache and German accent going to start? <laughs> oh, yeah. Forgot. I should probably wrap up this election period really soon because I'm starting to get into like some dangerous deficit territory. Thirty-six, thirty-two. Palestine is a Hebrew name of their enemies and was given to us by the Romans as an insult. By the way, there is never a Palestinian state. Jesus Christ. Again, we're not starting this. We're not starting the debate between that. We're just talking about just that. You live in Afla. Afla. Okay, so you're pretty far away from the actual fighting right now, but you're pretty close to Palestine. Or the West Bank, but you're quite far away from the fighting, so that's at least good. Now, are you old enough to be drafted? Like, are you, is there a chance that you may be going down there to fight, or are you too young for that? The preparations are complete. The whole. How many Jews do we have here? Religions. Oh. Let's actually look at the Jewish population real quick. I'm 16, okay. Interesting. We can debate about Argentine elections next Sunday, haha. Is the is the elections next Sunday? World production. Religion, there it is. Uh Judaism. <laughs> There's only 11 countries in the world with the Jewish population. So Argentina is actually the fifth largest in the world in terms of a Jewish population. Israel has 77%. Luxembourg, uh, Netherlands, Belgium, the United States has 2% of a Jewish population. What about Islam? I really do like, I really love the fact that the uh, Eversim finally updated the religious contexts and said, you know, in France, like, look, France has a very large uh, Muslim population and the United States finally, 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 finally has a Muslim population because I honestly want to have one, at least one gameplay live stream where I make the United States into like a Sharia, um, a, like a Muslim caliphate or something like that. Like that would be cool. Like we outlaw every other religion except Islam. No, they said, no. really? Free trade agreement, Guatemala, global icon. Currency, 43. Finance, 5%.
You should also play Command Modern Operations. Yeah, that'd be really cool to play um, in relation to the conflict. Apparently in uh, Texas, <clears throat> apparently in Texas, there was a, uh, a shooting hoax um, at the Texas State Fair in Dallas. So it's crazy. Maybe try that. This game is boring. So boring. I like the music in the background more and I don't like. Something. Bro wants me to jump off a of power and revolution and play command modern operations. getting a little close here crap I need to be fundraising what am I doing why not one uh, two games bro wants me to play two games at once Immigration rate is going up. Um, let's check my stuff right now. 12,000. So immigrants have not moved. I did sign a agreement with the United Kingdom, I believe. Treaties. I thought I had an agreement. No. Who did I sign something with? I thought I signed something with someone to get him to go work for somewhere. This year. Ten million dollars. Twenty-eight days. All right. So the election period is almost over. If we start to dip into like second place, then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to criticize, 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 and criticize. If we start to dip into second place, I'm gonna form a coalition. Perspective. Israel, play hero. I can't really get your views up. <laughs> 
bro really wants me to play as Israel right now. <clears throat> Given that it... I don't think it's about views, buddy. It's about how I'm perceived, and I don't want to be perceived as someone that's trying to... <laughs> trying to scrape the Israel conflict for money. Not even money, like, just views. It just looks shitty. says who speed so I increased my minimum wage let's go ahead and look to see what increasing my minimum wage did a little bit of a slight change right there kind of like right here but I actually changed the minimum wage without drastically increasing the the uh, uh, illegal unemployment Illegal employment. I always call it illegal unemployment. The fundraising campaign. The fundraising campaign was really successful. I show speed guy. Oh yeah, him. Yikes! My deficit is scaring the hell out of me right now. How is inflation right now? 40%. I like how our RG is just talking about the C peoples in my chat. Um, guys, if you guys are interested, go ahead and become a member of the channel. Helping this this channel out uh, financially does help me continue to make content for you guys. A lot of my content is uncommissioned. It's not something that I do make a lot of money off of. Um, so every cent does help, and I really would appreciate it um, getting more members um, as I'm finally coming back and uh, making a new Mexico series and as well as making the energy tutorials and the other upcoming tutorials um, becoming a member does help the channel out so go ahead and become a member now um, and you can get some really good benefits um, and uh, the discord access as well <clears throat> so I um, yeah I, I, I do I do really again appreciate you guys for helping me to 8,000 subscribers your life, your life is so chill, all the viewers fell asleep. No hate. Bruh. Bro's just sitting here. He's he's mad that I he's mad that I won't play as Israel right now, so he's just like your 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 your, your channel's boring. <laughs> Do you get any special for being a member? Um it's it's something I'm still trying to formulate and I really want I'm gonna make um a specific chat in my <clears throat> I'm gonna make a specific chat in my uh, Discord, um, in my Discord channel, for members, and I really need everyone to kind of like say like whenever they join, and I'd say, hey, go ahead and uh, make me. Um, it's gonna be like you know the specified role or something like that, and then that way like what you guys would want to see because I'm still kind of getting a lot of these benefits down and I need to go th back and kind of like reformat all of the membership uh, benefits. Um, some of them is like, it's like a, a custom background. Um, let me, let me look like some of my benefits right now. <clears throat> Customization or there it is. Memberships, membership levels. So like the, we have like member shout outs, exclusive Discord chat room. We have an exclusive member stream, um, gaming with PG. Uh, we have the, the virtual video, video collaborations, exclusive wallpapers. And it, it's kind of sucks because it's like, 
it kind of forces me into kind of like this little like oh it's a custom perk so i can make a custom perk i want to go through and make them custom perks it's just like i don't know what you guys would be interested in what would what would make you guys interested in becoming a member of the channel like pg we have to debate ted cruz i've been wanting to debate you for like literally two years when do you want to debate me i will debate you actually i'm i have like three other debates that i actually have to do um one of them is with uh, american elitist um and then another one is with ted cruz and then another one is with gen z patriot um mostly about foreign policy <laughs> No, like you old you did also didn't like me playing as Israel like one year ago in Superpower 2. What well, what happened as the as Israel in Superpower 2? What happened? I don't remember this. Did not do as much uh, fundraising that I would have liked to do. Yes. I told you I'm banned from Discord PG. Why? <laughs> Antonio Hernandez. Come on. Three, two. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, I think it's gonna go to a second round. No! We are now going to go live to one of the two. All right, so we have the debate, so we're good. Ain't no way she's she's leading she's leading right now the debate will carry me i know it program shit i should have i should have i should have, I should have formed a coalition good evening the so what's your opinion on the National education must not be analyzed under the prism of spending, but has an... Thank you. And moving on. It is essential to maintain and develop no, no, the no. living conditions of our young... Thank you. Let's move on. So, what's... We must at... Very well. Coming over to you. We must at all costs really? engage. Thank you. It's now time for the second part of the program, where the candidates will be. Able well, I would like some clear. Research is our. Damn it. 
I would like to hear you talk. Sport is education. It e Thank you. Right, we last, are now. Last promise. It is an no. objective reality. And okay, so I'm going to increase. What can I do? PG take the L no Life expectancy is increasing. Society is evolving in our scene. Thank you once again to both of you. Our instant polling system. Good evening. All right, I really hope that debate carries me over the finish line. This is gonna be a very close election. Deserve this, deserve this historic victory over the head of state. Polls indeed expressed her favor with 126 seats at the National Assembly for the party. Parliament. LSD. We lost seats in the election. Always comes out. It's begun. We're no, Mike. Hang on, hang on. This is a last ditch effort. This is a last ditch effort. Campaign electoral. <laughs> Belts destroyed. We're going double, double the dead voting. Oh, it's my fuck. My approval rating is so low. That's why I'm doing so bad. Form, criticize. Good evening. Come on, 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 come on. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Fuck. No, no, no. Damn it. Damn it. I've been told the defeated candidate is ready to make an. My dear fellow citizens. The voters have spoken, and I cannot argue with that. I would like to thank all those who believed in me 
I would like to tell them that the battle has not been in vain, because I will be back in the political arena tomorrow, making my voice heard. We are sad tonight, my friends, but I promise you we will be back here in the not-too-distant future, celebrating our victory. My, my dear fellow citizens, the voters are wrong. Guys, guys, there's, I think we know where this is going. I think we know what needs to happen. This is the worst impression I've ever done. But yeah, yes, yes, guys, guys. It, it, I won this election, and frankly, we did win this election, guys. We we need we need to bring our country back. We need to bring our country back, guys. We did better in IRL. The government may not reach the second round. <laughs> All right, now where's the option that I can? I can do a funny the fundraising. November. I have a September save. Would you like to play as the opponent? Um, how long have I been streaming? Eh, nah. <laughs> Junta time and then <laughs> invade Chile for fun. Everyone wants me to invade Chile. Now time, time to play as the, time to play as the funny one. I got jack shit right now, bro.
Are you not conscripted? All right, Egypt, can you can you sign an alliance with me real quick? Imagine playing as Palestine and then bringing their HDI score to like way, 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 way high. Let's look at my population index. Five million. Utility rate. Um, life expected is 76. Wow. HDI 0.69. GDP per capita 3,000. 82% living in poverty. Wow. <laughs> Alright. How do I how do I join the United Nations? Let's see what happens. I need I need I need I need World Bank money. Palestine's main producing product building housing and roadway I wonder if I can get a membership refuse you only want eight votes and there must be a two-third majority thus missing 120 votes your membership is therefore rejected <laughs> ah, no <laughs> Why? I only got like the votes of like Morocco and like Venezuela, Cuba, maybe China and Iran. Really, San Diego? <laughs> Bruh. Whoa, look at that trade bond. Whoa, goddamn, bro. What the dog doing? Um, give me one second. I'm going to step away. I'm going to go grab a drink and I'll be right back.
All right, I am back. Sorry for stepping away. It must be cons-
My fellow citizens, parliamentary debates are paralyzing government My mic has been muted this entire time. And this is simply not acceptable in these difficult times facing our nation. Therefore, I have decided to dissolve the parliament and I have called for new elections so that we can implement a can-do political framework that will lead us to prosperity. So what I was saying is that we made an alliance with Egypt and we changed political parties and I was talking about how the same guy that was saying that it was regrettable that I left the political party was then saying, hey, welcome to our political party and, uh, and I'm dissolving parliament so I can get rid of the Hamas uh, uh, PLO political party. I thought it was on purpose. No, I was looking at my, I was, I was, I was talking the entire time and like, and I, I, I saw your comment and you were like, why are you so quiet all of a sudden? And I'm like, and I looked down at my mic and it, it it's red and I'm like, no, <laughs> I was like, no, I've been quiet. I've been muted this entire goddamn time. The election. All right, let's see how I do in this election. Bro's literally talking in Portuguese in my damn chat. Wait, hang on. Let's change to the legal of voting age to 15. Multinational chat here. Old crab brain coot in the chat. Crab Rangoon in the chat, everyone. Crab Rangoon in the chat. Alright, let's promise we only have to campaign in two regions. <laughs> the one where we barely have land and the other one that's so cramped that we can literally just have a speech on a building and then everyone be able to see it. Am I a prime minister? Yeah, okay, so we're a parliamentary system. We might do a constitutional uh, reform here. I like how this video says there's gonna be a lot of Argentinians that are gonna be joining this and then you're gonna be pissed that like the last like half of this video of this of this live stream is me playing as Palestine. I have to <laughs> Yes Hmm 
let's let's leave the let's leave the non-proliferation treaty as as, as Palestine. A federal republic. We're the fe wow. That's so cool. We were a uh, religious authoritarian. It was the Palestinian Authority, and then now we're a federal republic. The federal republic of Palestine. The federal republic of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. I dare you play as the Stein. I just tuned in. <laughs> Boom, bro. Jesus Christ. See, this is exactly why I don't want to play as these contests. As any anyone in this part of the Mediterranean. Specifically between Egypt, Jordan, Syria, and Lebanon. Alright, let's 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 import some oil from Saudi Arabia real quick. Media. Internet censorship. Selective. Basically, we're just we're just we're just advocating freedoms right now. It's gonna be a pretty easy election. Seventy-one percent of the vote intention as of right now. The prep. All right, <laughs> Egypt. Can I sign a free trade agreement with you, real quick? Are you going to attack the other guy? No, we're not doing. We're not doing. I don't. I, number one, I don't have a military. Sorry, I don't want to get just steamrolled by that guy. I must let this person is at risk of a scandal. Is at risk of a scandal. Given your links, would be advisable. Let's do a year of culture for Israel, real quick. I really want strong relations with Israel. If we can get some really good trade relations with Israel going, like we 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 can we can do some good here. Eight percent. What 
What is this one? CDA. CDA and center left. Can I? Would it would it be democratic for me to ban the religious authoritarian party? Our fiscal Can you imagine Palestine taking in a billion dollars of debt? Like, kill it. Fifty-nine percent. Okay, that went up. send Eversim an email tonight and ask him what the plan is for 2024, whether they're going to be going for a GPS-5 or if they're going to be going for... Ah, yeah, I knew it. It must be... Bruh. Crumbo. Jesus Christ! Bro, they took all my money. We're gonna meet with Buddy Boy on the 19th. Things will get better, Hermano. He called me Hermano, thank you. the internet rumor the fundraising camp all right we're back to 11 million
Damn, we're at 19 million. Let's go. I'm going to invest $1.2 million into cyber protection. It's like, stop, stop going up. We are now going to go live. It is with pride that. All right, so we don't need a second round because we hit 50% in the first the light in the first round. So we only need um, that round. So we're good. We. Uh, Kaioken, hey, how are you? Yeah, it has been a while. Forty percent. Forty percent rate. Let's try to make a mega wind farm in Gaza and see what happens. <laughs> I put my deficit at 2.6%. <laughs> I mean, my deficit is going down pretty consistently, so... Let's see what that does. Uh, I mean, I can immediately, like, make up, like, some of that with a wealth tax. Reuniting Palestine? Nah, uh, we're just kind of developing Palestine.
go. Look at that. I just I bought a wind farm and my debt. <laughs> my debt went from 55% to 86%. The fundraising campaign didn't go as well. Mm. We could. Miscellaneous financial losses, sectors nationalized. UN Green Climate Funds. Huh. Yeah, I just noticed that too. Give me one more second. So, come to find out that uh, State Fair in Texas, there was a uh, active active shooter situation at the State Fair of Texas, um, and it was thought to be a hoax at first. But uh, come to find out, yeah, it was it was real. It was real. Uh, no one died. No one died. Um, but that's really scary because um me and my girlfriend have been planning to go and um we're actually gonna go next weekend and that's um that is that's that's really scary um So we were we I was gonna go today, um, except my girlfriend has a lot of uh, concerts this weekend. She has like a um, like a con like like two concerts this weekend that she's been going that she's gonna go to, and she's at one of them now. And the thing the things that's just really scary is that we would have gone today. And 
and I'm not sitting here and I think that sounds dumb that, um, you know, it's like, oh my God, I could have been there. I could have been, but that is genuinely kind of scary whenever you're, you're, you're kind of like, oh, like I literally have been planning to go to this place and I would have gone today if some stars didn't align or aligned. So that's just a very scary thought to think about. I'm just looking up some information on it. Yeah, that's 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 scary. I'm still planning on going next weekend, but Wow.
All right. Um, PGs, everyone you know, okay? Uh, I have a friend that I have a friend. No, I, I was muted. I was I was away. I was telling a family member about it. I have a friend um, who her aunt was at the uh, at the state fair when it happened, and they heard a shot, and they just ran. They were they said that they were just running. So. It just, I don't know why, I don't know why it just feels so, like, anxious about it right now. Like, it's like, it's like, it just, this, it's just hitting a little too close to home. The fact that I knew people there and, um, and the fact that I'm going there next weekend, so it's, it, it's just scary think about can you give Palestine a military yeah that's actually what I'm thinking about once I get the economy in tra on on track um, I want to build up a military I want to have like a couple of weapons obviously I wouldn't be able to uh, match the Israeli military but something that would probably kick kick a little bit of butt. I'd want like a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand troops. Probably wouldn't worry about an air force, honestly. I think we might just focus on missiles and artillery. Hey, we got a. Uh, Someone running for city council in the chat right now, Mr. Marcelo Page. Marcelo, when is your election? Um, and today I'm playing as Palestine, by the way. Um, as Palestine, I left the Gaza, the, uh, the, the, I don't know if this is the Palestinian Liberation Organization or if this is the, uh, Hamas, if this is Hamas, the Sunni, Sunni, uh, community party. I don't know which one it was. We left the religious authoritarian party and then we joined a more democratic party. We dissolved the parliament, we ran a new election, and uh, we ran a new election, and we uh, uh, um, are now a federal republic. We're no longer the Palestinian autonomy, we are, the, we are a federal republic. I am running for my borough, coun borough council. Uh, where at? God, I need to, If you guys are running for elections, tell me so I can be covering these elections. Make sure to give your give your boy a shout out on your inauguration speeches.
Early voting is from October 16th through November 3rd, and election day is November 7th. <laughs> Let's throw a missile program and disguise it as a space program. Everyone, go ahead and start doing the heart emoji that you can see in the I'm chat. Everyone do it. <laughs> I like how everyone actually liked that joke. <laughs> Let's start a missile program and disguise it as a space program. We'll start a, we'll start a, we'll start a, uh, little space program and just be developing missiles. Where are you going? Does Israel have an airport? I thought they did. Israel, I need you to make a civilian airport real quick. Our fiscal performance in the last I wonder if there's any possibility I can just sign one tiny little economic contract with Israel just, just so I can try to get some trade relations going. Come on, Israel, let me sell you some sheep. Okay, I don't need tobacco. So let's sell him some tobacco. <laughs> he accepted it. <laughs> Why do I have a contract with the European Union? Why do I have a free trade agreement right now with the European Union? Why, what? <laughs> well done. Here is our PG achieving more than the UN for Palestine. Ironically, I think I'm gonna have to be depending on biomass for for uh, energy.
Hey Jerry, you going to cover the election in the United States on November 7th? What? It's gonna be a Tuesday. Um... I mean, should I? Oh, I've never seen this one before. This is like the complete opposite of saying like, hey, yeah, we're we're kind of relying on it. I would like to call your attention to the fact that most of our country depends on foreign countries for its energy supply and these conditions, our economy is completely subject to the world fluctuations concerning energy as well as geopolitical hazards. I strongly recommend my Prime Minister a study of all the means of our disposal to reduce this influence. start launching missiles at certain places. Um, Zach, if you can send me some information about your about your election, then I can I can uh, think about it and I guess I'm I'm already going up in up So it's outside of Philadelphia. There might be a possibility I'm going to Phil I'm going to uh, Pennsylvania in the next near future. Um, I'll let you I'll let you know if I um, do a little subscriber meetup. Services. I'm looking up Buddy's election. Specimen ballots. Current dates calendar. Candidates corner. Micro effects. Specimen ballots. Oh, yeah, I see you, bro. Hell yeah, let's go. I see you. I see you on the sample ballot. That's so cool. Got a little subscriber of mine that's, uh, that's on a ballot. Most bizarre thing that's ever happened to you in Power and Revolution. I think I posted about it. Um, oh, the most bizarre thing happened recently where, um, uh, like these regions right here, uh, fell to to some political parties. That I guess they got banned or something because, like, they 
they um like the the entire country of Colombia basically collapsed and all of these little groups just kind of popped up and I kind of had like a carrier group that was like off the coast of Colombia just waiting for things to happen so I could send the go ahead and start launching airstrikes and it never happened. I got on it after the primary election. That is so cool. Do you think you can win? Like, or do you live in a conservative or liberal area? And if so, like, um, I, I would like to do, to go back to some little, how do you consume negative energy? What do you mean? Am I consuming negative? Um, but yeah, like, I, I would like to go back to some little, like, political, like, domestic political content, like I did before 2020. <laughs> Um, my expertise has always been in geopolitics and uh, foreign affairs and everything. So that's one reason why I I just have not um kind of like touched on it. And then plus, I've also been going through a little bit of like a little political. I'm not gonna say reawakening, but it's gonna be like like. If you guys know me from a couple of years ago, you'll know that I supported Donald Trump during that time. And now it's completely different that I believe that uh, Trump is an idiot, like an actual idiot. I've always said that he's an idiot, but he is a genuine idiot where I'm under cyber attack. Um, He's a genuine idiot where just he's just not good he's not good he's not good um so we have cut the un so just it's plain it's, it's not it's not good really sweden really I Who done it? The Swedes. Again, this is kind of I would I would change the title of this live stream to uh Argentine and Palestine gameplay, but I'm not going to get them monetized, so people are going to have to deal with it. Who would you vote for as president if it was today? Joe Biden. Flat out, Joe Biden. I'm not going to vote for Vivek. I'm not going to vote for DeSantis. And I'm not voting for Trump. I don't like Biden. And I don't think he's going to be the best um, guy. Out. I like how it took eight months for a terrorist attack to happen. Um, I don't like... I don't like Biden. I don't like Trump. I don't like Vivek. And I don't like DeSantis. With the foreign policy achievements that Biden has been undergoing, I'm going to trust him rather than trust someone else who basically is like acting like the United States is some sort of trying to act like they have a moral compass whenever they're basically like, oh, well, what do you do for us? Is essentially why we would defend someone. What do you do for us? And then they could turn it around and be like, oh, well, you don't pay so much in a NATO, so why should we defend you? I should change it to Argentine, Argentina, Palestine. Yeah, but if I put Palestine, I'm going to get demonetized. So I'm going to donate 10 bucks and I'll change it to Palestine. <laughs> Biden has impoverished us and started war. How did he start a war? What did, what did he do to start a war? And if you say Ukraine, I swear to God. There's nothing about what has happened under Biden that has helped anyone in this country. Um, actually, I'm, if Republican, I'd, no, I'd vote for Nikki Haley. I would vote for Nikki Haley, honestly. We could agree.
hyperinflation soon, food shortage is imminent. <laughs> and I think, I think like blaming Biden for all of that, I think it's like so dumb. I think it's so dumb. Like it's like, it's like, oh yeah, like people are like, oh well, he did, he did this. He put us, he, he, he got all this debt for us. My God. And then you're like, okay, like, who printed four trillion dollars in one year? Who, who printed that? Who printed that? my gains dissipate that's the effects of the trump administration yeah like i think oh oh egypt wants a meeting crap i think that's so dumb because it's like people are, and whenever i was on that on that type of crowd whenever i was um a trump supporter i wanted him to do good for the country i i was never a conservative. I never considered myself a conservative. I never called myself a conservative. I, at times, did consider myself a right-wing populist. And I believe I was around some sort of uh, right-wing populist. Um, fake pandemic. Whatever, man. Come on. Shutdowns and forced firings and printing. It was. <laughs> How was it fake? What are you saying it was fake for? What are you saying it was fake? How do you fake a pandemic? reaction our reaction was justified good morning. like if you're telling me and, and 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 this is this is what gets me this is what gets me about it is that these same people and crab i respect you and this is not whenever whenever i'm ever talking about it i'm never like you know trying to be rude or anything like that so don't ever take anything i say personally like what gets me about it is that they basically say all of this just so they can turn around and whenever it's like oh well like it's a fake pandemic we didn't have to do all of that we didn't have to do all of that we don't need shutdowns why are you taking away my personal rights and then on the other side of the coin whenever it becomes convenient for the argument then they turn around and tell you that it was a chinese bioweapon or they say that the Chinese manufactured it. Gain of function. Anthony Fauci lied about gain of function, correct? So then, whenever it become, becomes politically convenient or debate convenient for them to say that gain of function mattered or that Chinese bioweapons mattered, then that's whenever they're like, oh, well, the Chinese made it. And then whenever you ask them, why do you think that the shutdowns were bad? Do you think we should have done it if... Do you think we should have done it if it was a Chinese bioweapon? Wouldn't that be even scarier than it just being a zoonotic disease? Like, what... What world are you living in where you're basically just throwing shit around because it's so politically convenient? I was having, having to do mental gymnastics while supporting Trump because it was basically like, oh, well, something happened. And that's all a lot of Trump supporters do. They, I'm going to go ahead and refuse this thing. Um, they basically do whatever's politically convenient. Like, 
not Nick Fuentes. It was um, Paul Joseph Watson. And there was a couple of consistent ones, like Alex Jones. Whenever, back in 2017, April 2017, when uh, Trump uh, fired the missiles at Syria for using chemical weapons against civilians in Damascus. Whenever that happened, it was basically like beforehand, people were like, oh, well, well, like, we need to get out of the world. We need to get, we need to be isolationist. We need to be this, we need to be that. And then whenever Trump fires these missiles, then they turn around and are like, yeah, 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 yeah. That was so good. That was so good for him to do. Like, crazy, man. Crazy. Wow, right? So it, 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 it's so many Trump supporters have to do so much mental gymnastics in order to <laughs> we're living under an installed regime under, without a doubt. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. You're smarter than this. You're smarter than this crap. You are smarter than this. You are smart. You are smarter than this. Installed regime. And yet you guys wanted to like they like <laughs> that side of the crowd wanted to go into the capitol building and steal the electoral certifications because like and 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 before before it gets into this Trump did not order those people to go to the Capitol that day. He did not do that. That is not what I'm saying. What he did do is that he fanned the flames for four months and then alluded to people that everything that they thought was a lie and then were like, oh my God, they're stealing it from us. They're stealing it from us. And then turn around and be like, oh, like we need to do something we need to we need to go there and stop them because they're doing all these things against our babies george soros is all behind it george soros george soros george soros like they, they like it's so stupid it's so dumb that people and i'm not calling anyone in the chat and again, crap, I know this is kind of like a little bit of dis discussion between me and you. I'm not calling you an idiot. I'm, this is, none of this is against you. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about in general. I would like... Yeah, the uh, lack of men in our forces. Um, 226. Let's do 20,000 in... Wow. Let's do 20,000 in our military. I can only double it. <laughs> um... And, and on, on the other side of the coin, I still think what was going on in uh, 2020 was, was, it wasn't stupid, but I think, like, there was a lot of hypocrisy where it was basically like, oh, like, you know, everything that happened in 2020 was justified because of what happened to George Floyd. What, that, what, what happened to George Floyd and then it's like oh well you know how come they could have done they 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 were able to you know burn down businesses and everything in 2020 and blah 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 metal food bridge collapses terrible accident food bridge collapsed from rush hour because of a wave of numerous pedestrians I feel similar it's gonna go urban overpopulation 15 people are dead and 156 are injured wow Try to take it in a different direction. What's happening is in your stream says Argentina, so just wondering. <laughs> yeah, I know, bro. Bro literally joined while I'm just fucking ranting about <laughs> how I stopped being a Trump supporter. Um, uh, I lost the presidential election as Argentina. I have really good relations in Argentina. 
um, I lost the presidential election as Argentina, so because everyone was talking about it, it I just started a game as Palestine. So that's why you see me playing as Palestine right now. Um... Our network been, has been partially. Wow, I've been streaming three hours. Um, okay, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I might actually continue this on a different day. Um, Palestine. We're gonna go ahead and save this. I'm gonna stream it for three hours. We're gonna go ahead and call it here. <laughs> I like how Aracy, <laughs> Aracy, Aracy is like so awkward right now because he's just like, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bro literally just joined and he just sits here and me just 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 going off on crab about about uh about a uh, 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 uh Trump. Are you having fun? Are you winning, son? Are you winning your debate, son? Are you winning? Are you are you good, son? Are you having a heart attack there? See, I get passionate whenever I talk. <sighs> and I mean, it's it kind of sucks because it's like, like a lot of people um, that I know on like Twitter and like like a lot of them that I've associated with, like a lot of them are right wing, and a lot of them <laughs> I've actually like wondered why I've switched so far. And a lot of them think that I'm, um, like, I've become a liberal or something like that. I have not become a liberal. I've not become left-wing. I don't consider myself left-wing, but I, I've always held left-wing beliefs, like, um, uh, uh, like, a uh, gay marriage, um, somewhat pro-choice, but I don't touch the abortion topic, no matter what, so I just don't talk about it. Um, and, and, like, I don't know, it's, domestic politics has become so toxic now that that's why I, that's why I just don't talk about it. I don't talk about domestic politics because it, it's just the screaming match, especially in the United States. It's just so passionate now and so angry that I just I just don't like to talk about it. I don't like to talk about domestic politics. So that's why some like it, like a couple of years ago you could have seen me making a lot of content about domestic politics, about election predictions and everything like that. Turns out I wasn't the best election predictor because I didn't study a lot of of uh, domestic politics. And you know, I'm autistic, but I'm not that autistic basically. Um so it's it's just not coherent at a time when we really need it. I would disagree with you. He's signed the AUKUS agreement. Um, he has the most he has the most pro Western policies. And I'll say this before I go because I've been streaming for three hours. I'm just ending this on a on a little bit of like stuff because I don't I don't stream that often. And I need to start I need to start posting content and streaming. That's what I need to do. I want to do that. I need to start doing that more often. What? You should see Argentine politics. You are learning from us. <laughs> um, but what what gets me is people on the right, on the Trump side, like love Ronald Reagan. They love Ronald Reagan. They say Ronald Reagan was the best president ever. And then you turn around whenever it comes to things like Ukraine, whenever it comes to things like Taiwan, whenever it comes to things like even Israel now, whenever it comes to Israel, like this is like Israel has always been a steadfast, like has always been a steadfast, like US and Israeli policy have always been in lockstep with each other. Like security wise, defense wise, economic wise, like it's always been in lockstep. And now there's a wing of the Republican Party that is coming out and saying, we don't want any involvement in the world. We don't want any sort of involvement. 
And that's one of the primary forces that really pushed me away from it, especially after February 24th, 2022, is I just... Maybe we can have an election day live stream. Yeah, I'll have you and uh, 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 the other guy, um, Marcelo, on my uh, on my stream if y'all want. Um, that'd be cool. <clears throat> but yeah, like Reagan had faults, conservatively, and but like. He always tried to do the right thing. Republicans now basically just want to be like, oh, well, you know, we have our own problems here. Why are we caring about what happens in other countries? What affects everyone else is going to affect us. Honestly, and there's a lot of reasons why I am very passionate about, about, about foreign policy. I want the United States to be involved to prevent travesties from happening so that the next time we have to get involved, we're already involved instead of a plane flying into a building and into, into the Pentagon to get us involved. Or planes bombing our ships in our harbors to get us involved. Because that's what it takes for isolationists to come out of their isolationist phase. And then it takes another generation for them to be like, oh, well, you know, oh, we, we, need, we need to start being isolationist. And then whenever something happens, then they turn around and are like, okay, we were wrong. Isolationists are some of the most annoying people because they sit there and say, we need to focus on this. We need to focus on that before we get involved anywhere else. They act like that we are going to eventually be involved. Like, we need to take care of our, of the invasion at the border. The invasion at the border is more important than an invasion in another country. And I hate, and that annoys the shit out of me that they call it an invasion at the border. Just call it an immigration crisis. That's what it is. It's not an invasion. Whenever I see Mexican tanks and troops coming over the border and taking our towns yeah that's an invasion people coming here for a better life that's not an invasion so what just again this gets me every single time that i talk about these isolationists and especially the isolationist wing of the republican party right now it will take a nuclear bomb going off in los angeles or new york or DC for them to turn around. And even then, even then, there's going to be a handful of them. They're going to be like, oh, well, we asked for it. Why are we involved everywhere else in the world? Why are we involved everywhere, everywhere else in the world? We shouldn't be involved there. So we asked for it. So we deserved it. So we don't need to get involved, even though they just killed 50,000 people in downtown Los Angeles. Like it, it, it's it is beyond me. It is beyond me why these people believe that isolationism is the way to go because it's not. And the United States will never, ever, ever be isolationist. I don't want to go to war either. That's the thing. I don't want to go to war. I'm not a war hawk. Whenever I talk about Ukraine, about arming them, about giving them weapons and money, I'm not a war hawk. I'm not sitting here saying we need to put troops in Ukraine. What I'm doing is that I want to end a war over there before it gets brought to us or to our allies. Because if we're sitting here waiting for our, our allies or for us directly to get attacked, for us to get involved somewhere else, like it's needless, it's needless casualties. It's needless. Because yes, if we get involved in Taiwan, it's preventing, like, it, it, yeah, we would lose people. Of course we would lose people. It would be the largest conflict since World War II. But we have to realize that by the time that China would take Taiwan, they're not gonna stop. They're not gonna stop at Taiwan. 
they act like that is the national rejuvenation. The national rejuvenation is going to be where they're going to stop. They're not going to stop there. They're already wanting to take Japanese islands. They want to take the Philippines. They want to take northern Vietnam. They're not going to stop at, 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 they're not going to stop at Taiwan. They're not going to do that. They want a blue ocean fleet. They want a fleet that they can deploy into the Pacific Ocean. They want influence and control all across the Pacific Ocean because they want to be like, oh, well, we took revenge for the century of humiliation. What happened to the Chinese? What happened to the Chinese in the 18 and 1900s? Yeah, that was a travesty. But what happened generations ago, you cannot punish the countries of today for making those actions. Yes, it was the countries themselves, but you're punishing the country. You're punishing people that had nothing to do with those policies. Biden, Trump, Barack Obama, George W. Bush, Ronald Reagan had nothing to do with the 55 days at Peking. They had nothing to do with the Japanese invasion of China. So why would China be wanting to do that against the West for actions that administrations of countries that don't even exist anymore. So, and I mean, number one, and last, last, la last point, last point, last point. China, Russia was a part of that humiliation too. They took land from you and you're working with them. But the Chinese also know that they're not doing it because they think that the Russians are going to be like, oh yeah, hell yeah, you're going to, we're working together. China wants this land too. They want to take back the land that they lost from the Russians. So just like the United States possibly can't contain China, even though it is a good policy of containment in the first island chain, the United States cannot contain China, but China cannot be aggressively going across the Pacific trying to take all this territory and Russia can't be invading other countries. There has to be punishment. Just like how there was punishment against the United States for invading Iraq unjustly, as bad as that was, the same people that say the Iraq war was bad sit there and say that Russia is doing nothing wrong in Ukraine and that China is doing nothing wrong by invading Taiwan. Rant is over. I'm sorry for going on for an additional 15 minutes of going on a rant about that. I really need to have a little bit of a live stream, sit down live stream with someone and talk about this because I know it's probably annoying to have me talk about my talk about it by myself. Um, and you guys are just like, dude, just play the fucking game. Just play the guy goddamn game. Um, so anyway. Guys, thank you so much for joining in on this live stream. I hope you guys like me, like it whenever I kind of go go on these little rants or something like that. Um, and I hope you guys really enjoy the channel. Um, I'm I am going to be um, making another episode of the Mexico series. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I'm very happy that you guys like the Mexico series. I'm very happy with it. Um, uh, my girlfriend actually does help me on the Mexico series. Um, she is not from Mexico, but she is of Mexican descent. Um, and she's very familiar with the culture. And so she actually helped me on developing it, on understanding some of the culture. And even uh, on the intro, some of, uh, some of that was actually um, uh, her idea. Um, so I do thank her for that. And um, it's, it's very exciting that uh, you guys do enjoy the uh, uh the mexico series and i'm very much excited to uh do more uh marcelo and zach please go ahead and join my discord and tag me in 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 the discord and i will add you guys to a group chat but we'll go ahead and coordinate some sort of live stream uh for election day and we will have you guys on and i will do an election day live stream with you guys so we will have um not one not just one but two um, currently running a uh, city councilman, a potential city councilman that wants to uh, 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 win in a election. So uh, I hope I hope to have you guys on uh, both at the same time, and that'll that'll be fun. 
Guys, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, become a member of the channel if you guys have not. Go ahead and again, leave a like. Let's go up to like 20 likes on this before we go. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and keep an eye out for that energy tutorial. I'm like about maybe 25% done on it. Um, I'm going to work on it a little bit because I have to, I have to go somewhere in a little bit. Um, but yeah, guys, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and take care.